The AEM Hall of Fame is a collection of the leaders and their innovations in the off-road equipment manufacturing industry. Every one of the 65 members have made major contributions to our industry and the world. However, each of those members had a very different journey to success. Ray and Coop Ferwerda, inventors of the Gradol Excavator, had one of the most interesting journeys of all. It started in 1920 in the Netherlands, in the northern town of Sneek, a time of instability and uncertainty in Northern Europe, leading many to seek better fortunes elsewhere. And the only way to get, a, get, get to the United States is uh, get, a, get a job on a steamer. The brothers took positions shoveling coal and working the boiler aboard the Great Lakes bound steamer Sardinian. The ship set sail from Europe with the brothers aboard, but the boiler developed problems while steaming across Lake Erie. And all of a sudden, uh, the word got around that uh, we're going to put a lot of fire in that, in that uh, 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 <clears throat> furnace. And sure enough, they got a fire going to where the ship captain said, hey, come on out from down the hole, let's get off this boat. <coughs> Thank the thing blows. The, uh, the tank down there, and uh, consequently, there's two different lifeboats. One, my dad got on the one that's going to Canada, and the other, um, my uncle got on the one, Ray got on the one that's going to Cleveland. Uh, they don't speak any English, and uh, so they had to fight uh, back to Holland, where they were, to react to each other, and then they could communicate to each other, and then bam, they After briefly working for a Cleveland area dairy, they found the job that began to define their careers, building roads and sidewalks for a contractor in Cleveland's eastern suburbs. Just five years after surviving the explosion of the Sardinian, the brothers had enough savings built up to start their own business, for Werda Brothers Contracting Company. In 1940, Ray Ferwerda decided to take a step back from the construction industry and bought a 160-acre dairy farm. At the same time, he and Coop decided to sell some of their construction equipment to fund an idea they had, a machine to perform the time and labor-intensive task of grading roadway embankments. The reason? During the Second World War, the brothers couldn't find enough labor to help grade road embankments by hand, so they needed another solution. Their vision? A machine that sits on the newly finished roadway and reaches down below the road level with either a raking or excavating bucket, an extendable boom reaching at least 20 feet out, a material moving device, the Gradol. Their biggest hurdle, however, was securing raw materials to develop their idea during wartime. Because of the war, you couldn't uh, get certain materials like an engine and steel. And so my uncle went to Washington with his model and so forth, or his pictures, and explained to the Navy, who was also in charge of the Marine Corps. And consequently, it turns out that uh, the Marine Corps was very interested. In 1946, the Gradol M2400 became the first fully hydraulic excavator to enter series production in the U.S. Bought a place in New Philadelphia and started manufacturing big time down in New Philadelphia. And New Philadelphia, Ohio is where Gradol industry continues to call home and make today's Gradol excavators. The family also remains involved through Tampa, Florida based Great Southern Equipment, founded by Coop's son, Ray, as one of the first Gradol distributors in 1960, and is currently led by Coop's grandson, Ray Jr., while great grandson Jack helps with sales. Who else should the AEM Hall of Fame recognize? Nominations are currently being accepted for the 2021 induction at AEM.org. We need you to tell us who the best, brightest, and most influential minds in the history of the off-road equipment industry are.